welcome to uh, Homestead on a Budget. This is our Swimming Creatures Research Journal video. Uh, this is what we're making for our uh, research um, for our Science Creatures class. And we're using, like I said in the other curriculum and videos, we're using Apologia Swimming Creatures of the Fifth Day. And it's Zoology 2. It's a very excellent curriculum. You can get Zoology 1 and Zoology 3 as well. This is the one we're doing this year. So we created, um, myself and the other sea creature teachers, when we worked together in our homeschool co-op, we created these binders. This is the teacher's manual, and we have these covers that we put on the kids' manual as well, where they can write their names and color them in and personalize them. Um, the teacher's manual looks just like the student's manual. We have the syllabus on this side, which I will post when we're finished with the year because we're not done working on the syllabus yet, but we have the first half of the year done. And every chapter in the book, uh, like the first chapter is called Aquatic Animals, we put a yellow, or we just put colored file folders in for each chapter, so the, the, the random colors. So, and we put labels on them up here, and we punched holes in the folder. So then when you open the folder, they have the insides of the folders to put their projects on. So each chapter in their folder, this is the teacher's manual. So this is the student manual, uh, student binder. Each chapter has their own file folder. So, and then we put the name of the chapter on a label and put that on the file folder. So that's what we did. Uh, we've done the first three chapters so far. The first one was aquatic animals. I'll just show you what we did. Um, they did something on aquatic mobility. They learned about necton, um, plankton, benthos, all the different types of swimmers or, or non-swimmers in the ocean. And then we also learned the ocean zones. And if you want to see how we make our ocean zone, uh, ocean zone bottles, you can see another video on how we made those. We did that with that lesson. And then when we do the lessons, we also do uh, note pages that we created ourselves for our classes and they do one of these each week so this is week one this is week week two because we do two weeks per chapter so week two were whales uh, we learned about baleen and tooth whales so we made some of these projects out of um, the, show the kids how baleen is like and the tooth whales we did our notebook pages for uh, week three and week four um, and we did a whale comparison and sizes where we went outside and we took string and the kids stretched out their string and each string was 10 feet long and with all the kids so they um, were able to measure how long blue whales or sperm whales or orca whales so blue whales would be 100 feet long so we needed a 10 kids to put their strings together sperm whales are 60 feet long so six kids put their 10 foot long strings together um, and so on. We did orcas and belugas, narwhals and humpback whales. And so the kids could see how long the different size whale were, whales were. And we did that outside. And they got to put a whale sticker on there. Um, week three, we did seals and sea cows. So they did their week five. And week six notes for that chapter. And then they learned about how big walruses are. Uh, they weigh over 3,000 pounds, like the size of a car. They learned that blubber can be six inches thick and a whale tusk can be over 40 inches long. So you can see how long a whale tusk can be. Right, Maddie? Mm -hmm. And then we also did a blubber experiment, which will also be in the blog for um, whales. Whales and walruses, because they both have blubber. So those are some of the folder activities that we've done. Um, aquatic herps, this is what we're on now. We did the life cycle of a frog. We did week seven notes. We haven't done week eight because that's the week that we're doing now. And then this week they will learn about sea turtles, different kinds of sea turtles. And we also got tadpoles that the kids are observing in their classes now. Um, so that's, that's kind of how we put the student notebooks together for the year. And like I said, there is a folder for each chapter in the book and they will do activities inside the folders and as well as put their notes in there. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our, um, our video from Homestead on a Budget. God bless.